Somebody's recently asking me how cold hardy is the yucca gigantea. Well, I can tell you one thing, they're not super cold hardy. This one I planted in June 2007, and they're definitely a, a zone 9A. Uh, plant and it did receive some damage a little bit of damage you can see the center there is a bit damaged but it's green below if you look and uh, overall the plant looks pretty good but you can see that's that's cold damage in there so I suspect in this area it never did get below 20 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 6.6. .6. I'm going to show you something. We're going to walk up to the Stevenson screen. And uh, show you the exact low temperature it was. The Stevenson screen is way over there. And in that area, you can see those ones are damaged. See those Yucca Gigantia and pots? They were in that Tiki hut. But because this one here is maybe closer to the house, this Yucca... Gigantia under these big trees and uh, like I said just threw some plastic over it. It really did seem to help So let's go to the Stevenson screen. These ones took a beat But they did survive Okay, and then this one too took a real beating but they did survive so I'm gonna cut this top off It's totally firm I'm gonna cut that off, these dead leaves. They do re-sprout pretty good. So that's not a problem, all right? So those ones need to be cleaned up. And uh, you can see the camera ops. This one got burnt and the Tiki Hut caught on fire. Burnt all the side of it here. So in this Stevenson screen, it was down to 20 degrees. And I don't know how far that is away, what, 70, 75 feet, something like that. I have a glass minimum max in here too, which is very important. You see that? That's how cold it was in this uh, in this screen at the end of December. See the 20 there? That's the exact. That's the uh, that's the minimum. So it was uh, it was pretty cold. Actually, it looks a little higher than 20, doesn't it? So, but anyway, so I'm guessing in that area right down there was. Uh, was milder so that's one of our weather screens this one's uh beside my harley garage and uh you know what's coming along really good too is the kiwis see the leaves coming out on the kiwis here lots of kiwi vines they grow like weeds hopefully we'll get a bumper crop this year so we'll go back to the yucca these are all kiwis as well so yeah i've got to clean these yuccas up Yucca gigantic, but like I say, not super cold hardy. If you're living in a colder area, yeah, you want to protect them when it gets ugly out. The Yucca Gloriosa below it are fine. There's another camera ops there. But uh, overall, considering how bad it was, how, how bad that freeze was for one week, we had one week freeze. It uh, looks okay. It uh, survived the December 2008 freeze as well. And you can even see the oleanders. There's oleanders in there right there so wasn't cold enough to kill those either all right guys thanks for watching and uh, try to uh, experiment with the yucca gigante in your garden if you live in a similar uh, growing zone we definitely fell into uh, zone 8b the high end on the on the far screen that's for sure uh, 200 feet away from that screen downslope back of the house there is another stevenson screen it was minus eight so there's a big difference this is up high here right and cold air is like water so you can see the screen in the distance right there all right, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, happy gardening. Cheers.